This is the graded skill demonstration for bleeding control shock management. Welcome to Bleeding Control Shock Management. I'm Ms. Clow. I'm going to read you the station instructions. I'll ask you if you have any questions and then give you time to gather and check your equipment. This station is designed to test your ability to control hemorrhage. This is a scenario-based testing station. As you progress through the scenario, you will be given various signs and symptoms appropriate for the patient's condition. You will be required to manage the patient based on these signs and symptoms. A scenario will be read aloud to you, and you will be given an opportunity to ask clarifying questions about the scenario. However, you will not receive answers to any questions about the actual steps of the procedures to be performed. You may use any of the supplies and equipment available in this room. You have 10 minutes to accomplish the skill station. Do you have any questions? Can I gather and check my equipment? You may. I'm ready. Okay, I'll read to you the scenario. You respond to a stabbing and find a 25-year-old female. Upon examination, you will find a two-inch stab wound to the inside of the right arm at the anterior elbow crease and a cubital fascia. Bright red blood is spurting from the wound. The scene is safe and the patient is responsive and alert. Her airway is open and her breathing is adequate. Do you have any questions? No whenever you're ready. BSI. <clears throat> At this time, I will apply direct pressure to the injury site and elevate the extremity above the level of the heart. Bleeding continues. I will apply additional dressing at this time. Bleeding continues. I will apply pressure to the arterial pressure point directly above the injury. Bleeding is controlled. At this time, will I ask my patient to apply pressure to the dressing? I will dress the area at this time. You note that your patient is showing signs and symptoms indicative of hypoperfusion with cool, clammy skin. I will place my patient in a supine position. I will elevate the lower legs. I will apply high flow oxygen at this time via non rebreather mask. I will cover my patient to prevent heat loss at this time. I will identify this patient as a high priority patient, load the patient in the ambulance and transport at this time. I'm finished. Go ahead and clean up the station and return to your class. <laughs> 